Hello everyone. So, quick video on my Chambermaid DT system. You can see here that the lines which play the role of struts, these ones are elastic. Right, so that's just a piece of uh, rubber stripped down to one millimeter. But these lines are what actuate the stabilizer DT. You can see I've also got little uh, adjustment screws on this side here, and there's another one on this side. Those lines go through a couple of little eyelets and run back to this little ring where we go to a single line goes to a spring, a hook, rubber band, and a little band burner DT, the one from uh, um, Microtimers in Israel. So you see right now there's no flashing, right? So that means the timer is in standby. If I click this little button, you see it's flashing now, so now it's ready. I'm going to make it one press and hold it down until I get a double a blue and red flash. There you go. So I guess it's alternating blue and red. So that's the timer counting down. I can stand here now. If I launch, it'll count down for whatever time I set. If I decide I want to reset it, just press the button again. Now it's reset and starting at zero again. You're going to see when it burns through the band, the stabilizer will kick. If I want, I can also press it, give it a long press, and it'll set back to standby mode. Oh, there we go. And now the model will, of course, parachute down. So that's the uh, Chambermaid Band Burner DT setup that I've got. Um, I think it's a really good option for FAC models. It operates on just a simple 30 milliamp battery. You can get you can DT all day on that battery. It's perfectly reliable. Uh, you can set the time with uh, seconds and minutes. So it's really and, and the whole thing weighs two grams, which is only 0.4 grams more than your uh, typical uh, silly putty DT timer. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching.